All right, let's talk about the market real quick. The packs that came out on Friday were pretty cool, I think. I don't know what you guys feel about them. I like Iced Out, too. Like, the odds were pretty bad, but they did come with the box toppers. The majority of the cards are very cheap. Um, that being said, the singles did not have the best odds in the world, but we did get Chris Bosch, Terry Dissinger. Anyways, I wanted to go through all the cards that came out and kind of talk about them a little bit. So let's start with uh, Bull Bull. Uh, Bull Bull, as per usual, is a little bit too expensive for what he actually brings your team. I don't really think he's all that good. I couldn't say with the utmost certainty that I don't think he's really that much better than like Mo Bamba or Evan Mobley or anything in that same like realm of like budget guys. He's price fixed, apparently. Everyone's just charging 9000 for him. I don't think he's worth picking up. Seven foot two, he's obviously got the Brick Lopez base, catch and shoot corner specialist, brick wall. I mean, those are pretty solid, realistically. Like, Hot Zone Hunter, I don't think he's a box bogo stick. He's probably, like, one of the best Ruby big men, especially at the power forward. Though, I can't say for certain he's really even, like, that much better than uh, Jonathan Isaac. Honestly, I, don't, I really don't think he is. Truly. But, I mean, if you want to pull the trigger on him, hey, it is what it is. Go grab him. Shannon Brown. Shannon Brown is six foot four. I mean, there's really nothing to write home about with Shannon Brown. He booms pretty hard for like a Ruby and he can shoot a little bit too. Like he's pretty decent. I mean, badge wise, catch and shoot corner specialist, glue hands, like posterizer, like pretty decent stable of badges. Nothing like spectacular, but he's like 800 MT. So if you want to hoop with one of LeBron's terrible 2007 teammates, like go right ahead. Dion Waiters. My man got so ripped on an airplane they had to land. He thought he was having a panic attack and dying. Well, he was having a panic attack. I think he thought he was having a heart attack. Deion Waiters is a pretty fun offensive card to use if you want to use him for like offline stuff. I mean, he's decent online as well. He's just not the greatest card in the world. Um, he does have like limitless takeoff. He booms. Do you guys remember the Evo Deion Waiters from 2K20? That card was the shit. I don't care what anyone says. That was 2K20, right? I think it was. Dimer, pickpocket, yeah, he doesn't have any of those. I mean, you can give him badges if you want, but he's he's all right. 87 three-pointer, 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, not really great defensively, but 84 perimeter defense is okay. 90 speed, it's pretty good, dude. Waiters was, yeah, Waiters was fire in 20, for sure. Darius Garland's relatively good as well. Pretty much everything I said about Waiters goes for Darius Garland as well. Like, if you're looking for a great offensive threat point guard, that you can pick up for like buyout price like garland and waiters are like two to three thousand mt at the absolute most and they're really really good if that's what you're looking for like by all means i would pick them up i think they're well worth it victor oladipo dude victor oladipo is ridiculous okay like straight up he's so good for his price now the problem is is there's so many cards that are also at the same position as him shooting guard small forward that are relatively cheap that are really good you know cards like eddie jones cards like rex chapman um other guys that are even diamonds buddy healed uh who's the other guy joe caldwell like these are all cards that are all playing the same positions on our in the same realm as all the depot but six foot four he always looks so much bigger than six foot four though i don't know what that's all about but fearless finisher hall of fame clamps posterizer ankle braces and limitless takeoff relatively good bad slot his release is really good this year too catch and shoot difficult shots he's got gold hyperdrive glue hands pickpocket interceptor intimidator on gold lucky number seven limitless spot up like pro touch the most useless badge in the entire game by a country mile when did i start saying that why am i saying country mile i don't know handles for days quick first step tight handles unpluckable he's got pretty much every badge in the game that you'd realistically want him to have i don't think he has chef corner specialist he doesn't have i would recommend giving him that uh dimer helps a lot too especially if you plan on using him as a primary ball handler same with like quick chain uh, if you want to give him blinders that's going to help chef obviously um i feel like there's another one floor general if you want Oladipo is relatively complete though 93 point shot 95 driving dunk 86 ball handle 95 perimeter defense super good really slept on i've heard nobody talk about this card and i think he deserves to be picked up for, by a lot of people really sick um mike miller dude all right he's not the greatest defender he is like he's kind of like clay thompson without the defense six foot eight 218 just a 
fucking unit out here. Catch and shoot, posterizer, limitless, downhill, quick first step, limitless takeoff. Both the limitlesses. Uh, I gave mine gold gold uh, clamps because he does come standard with silver clamps, which is cool. Silver ankle braces as well. Uh, as far as badges you want to give them, like hyperdrive would help a lot. Pickpocket would be helpful as well. Interceptor and Intimidator are kind of necessary for him. Circus Threes is probably a good one as well. Set Shooter makes sense. It's Mike Miller, you know what I mean? Menace as well. But like you can get this card for like under 10K and he's truly one of the best shooting guards you can get in this game for under 10K. I mean that fully, like straight up. Bradley Beal, I think, is one of the more slept on cards in this game, too. This card, this whole set was good, and every single one of these cards is slept on except for Mobamba. I'm not kidding. Uh, six foot three, pickpocket clamps, mismatch, limitless spot up on Hoff, sniper, ankle braces, volume shooter, menace, and ball stripper. Fantastic badge count. Like, it's better to look at the badges Bradley Beal doesn't have. He's got one of the best releases in the game as well. Limitless Takeoff is helpful for him. I recommend putting that on him. You can get this card for like 20K due to the box topper. Um, another one would be like Dimer because you can use him as a secondary ball handler relatively well. But that's about all he really needs. 94 three-pointer with that Ray Allen base. 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, like 95 perimeter defense with a 96 steal. Yeah, he's six foot three. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's not very detrimental. This card is fire. Terry Dissinger needs no introduction. You guys know the deal with Terry over here. He is a monster. A little bit too expensive for me to pick up for now. I'll just wait until he gets cheaper. I guarantee he'll be cheaper around Super Pack time. Maybe he goes up in price, but he's going for about 200k right now. No limitless spot up. That's really the only like negative. But catch a shoot corner, intimidator, posterizer, downhill, quick first, sniper, and unstrippable. Looking at badges, he needs upgraded. Uh, yeah, stop and go chef would be very helpful. Chef would be extremely helpful. Quick chain as well would be helpful. Um, Hyperdrive. That's about it, though. He doesn't really need very much, honestly. Ball stripper probably helps a little bit. Terry's fire. He's got Rudy base, 88 three-point driving dunk, 86 ball handle. Like, good stable of defensive statistics as well. There's nothing wrong with this card. And yeah, I'll put I'll put in the locker codes in a second. Um, Chris Bosch, I talked about him a lot. Truly one of the best big men in the game. Catch and shoot, corner, post spin, rim protector, box, rebound chaser, limitless spot up, set shooter, dead eye, sniper, hot zone hunter with good good hot zones. Yeah, 93 point shot, like 76 ball handles, not great, but at the center, it's fine. 90 interior, he's got good defense too. He's not the fastest, but Bosch is legitimately an S tier center. This card is ridiculous. He's absolutely worth picking up. No question about it. Did any of the New Year's resolution cards go down in price a little bit? And eh, not really. Joe Caldwell, my boy. Is it way to buy out? No. <laughs> I should have known better. Like, I don't know what I'm thinking there. Everything else is pretty much back up on price wise, right? Clay's a buyout. Clay's a super buyout right now, by the way. I wanted to mention that. Like, I don't know. Like, he, is he worth picking up? I mean, if you, dude, honestly, like if you pick one up with an unlimited contract and some extra badges and stuff for like 70K, I think that's worth it. It'll, you'll be able to make that 70K back with that unlimited contract for sure. Is he going to be meta for much longer? No, certainly not. This one's got 13 hops. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I mean, if you wanted this card all year, and you have some MT to burn and you want to go for it. I still personally think Dr. J is a little bit better. That's just me. Is John Wall up in price yet? Yeah, he is kind of. Not really, though. It is what it is. One card I would recommend selling ASAP if you do have it, especially now that the qualifiers are over, is David Robinson. And the reason I say that is because I think his price is going to plummet in the next couple weeks. Uh, just because I guarantee we get a new stable of Opal Big Man. We have no Opal big men outside of Chris Bosh. You know that's not going to last. You know we're getting a Hakeem. You know we're getting probably another Kareem or something. Definitely a Will. It's it's just how it is. And we got some locker codes. Let me see if they work. Hold up. Let me, let me go about this here. All right. Hub, ask a dev code one. Okay, let's check it out. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what they're for. Hub, ask 
ask a dev code one. Wait, is Ev? Yeah, okay. Code one. What a weird code. What a weird code from 2K. I, either way, we'll see if it works. Is there a hyphen on the one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, it worked. All right. What do we got? Tokens. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. Let me at least get the 25 tokens, dude. Look it up. It doesn't really matter. By the way, we're definitely getting an Opal uh, token reward coming up next week for sure. I guarantee they give us their, our first Opal token reward. I wonder what this is for. It's like probably an Ice Spout pack and like a uh, Slasher badge pack, if I had to guess, or like a post something badge pack. We don't really have a lot of good buyable centers or point cards. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sick. Okay, this is just a pack. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. The only thing I don't want is Colossal or Dunked Over, which means I'm absolutely getting one of those. So let's just close my eyes and uh, we'll drop it. Oh, I picked quite possibly the worst place to drop it. God damn it. <laughs> no. Wait, what did I get? Mystic? Oh, I'll take Mystic. That's cool. Come on, T Mac, dude. I can feel it. Hakeem's highest is the Mystic lock in, Pink Diamond, I think. Oh, bummer. Del Curry. 